Hi guys. Um, this is kind of weird. Awkward positioning, I know. But, um, <laughs> how are you guys doing? My name is Lady Lauren Explorer, and, um, I hope you are doing well. If you couldn't tell by the title of this book and what's surrounding me, I'm doing a every special edition book I have. And uh, <laughs> I'm on top of some. They're all right here, just taking away all my light. So uh, let's just uh, start the intro. <laughs> Okay, so this is kind of manageable. I still have those in the background, but I let's just get started. <laughs> okay, like I said, this is all of the special edition, limited edition, exclusive edition books I have right now. And you know, I always love booking books. I love new books, new authors, and I sometimes will just buy a special edition without knowing what the book is about. And let's just get started. We first should start with Ali Hazelwood and the Illuma Crate editions of her books, which is Love on the Brain and the Love Hypothesis. Love the sprayed edges on them. And then each book, Make It, has the fronts of the cover on them. Everyone knows that these are, um, well, this is fake dating, and this one I think is uh, also fake dating, but maybe like grumpy sunshine. The next three special editions I have is by Michelle Hercules, and that is Heart Starter, Heart Stopper, and then Heart Breaker is the Rebels of Rushmore series. And each came with a bookmark and it was signed by Michelle. Love them. And then the naked matches, I'm guessing, the, the theme of the book. So that was Heartbreaker's theme, which is a Grilla Blitz. And then Heartstopper has a chicken or a hen. And you see the hen right there, the chicken. And then Heart Starter is football and football, American football. So I know this one, Heart Stopper, is enemies to lovers. I think Heartbreaker is brother's best friend. And Heart Starter, I think, is forbidden because it's a teacher versus a well, student and a coach or a player and a coach. So the next special edition, which I think is technically a special edition because I don't see this book often, and that's the Forgive Me Not Bombshell by um, Caroline Peckham and Susanna Vitali. I also know that this is part of like a series called The Mafia Wars, but each book in The Mafia Wars is a standalone, and Romance Cartel is doing hard back special editions of each book but forgive me not bombshell is the last book in the series so um they haven't came out with special edition for that but if you are doing are going to be in australia for the book convention over there the book signing over there they have every single special edition for the series over there and you can pay for it <laughs> um i think it's like 200 and like fifty dollars for all seven. I'm just waiting for this one. These next four are from the Bookish Box, and these are for the Four Horsemen series. But this is War, which is book two. Love this, and it has a reverse jacket. But I like the naked as well. Just saying. And I do know that like each book has like its own artwork in it, but there it is. This is book four, which is Death and Spray Edges, and this is what it looks like. 
make it and re reverse. I will say that the other side, yeah, here it is. I love this. You have book one, which is um, Pestines, Pestines, Pestines. Mm. Is what it looks like make it is this. And the last one is Famine, and that's book three. And this is these like edges. But it looks like make it. And the picture on the back. Since I forgot to show the picture on the back for war, and that's war. So the next two books are an anthology, one whole anthology, and it's by Mystic Box. And the first one is Filthy Elite. This is what it looks like. And each book in the series comes with its own artwork and has a book plate. And here is volume two. And the nakedness is basically the same. But these are it, and I love them. These next books are from Mystic Box as well. They are slightly coveted, but not like as much anymore. But they're from one of my favorite authors, and it's Bibi Root, and it's Fear You and Fear Me. I have <laughs> two copies of these books and I love them. This next book is also from Mystic Box and it features Karina Cole, No Tomorrow. I love this edition. I actually had the regular edition of this and then I got my hands on this so then I just gave away the regular edition because I love this. <laughs> then I have um, Be the Girl by K.A. Tucker and this is what it looks like. This is from Bella and all of Bella's usually come either signed or have a book plate. The next book from Bella is Indigo Ridge by Davin Perry. And I love this because it shows like a mountain range. Love that. I have the first fairy loot <laughs> edition <laughs> um, of XOXO by um, Ali O. Love this. It's a K-pop romance and book plate. Then I have the Illuminate edition of A Marvelous Light. I love this edition. Yeah, it's, I know it's a Killian. That's all I know. Um, and it has magic in it. But I love this edition because of the dust jacket. It's just so beautiful. And the right edges just give me life. Just give me life. Bella Book Box edition I have is Swoon by Lauren Rowe. This is so beautiful. It's a rock star romance, also a brother's best friend's romance. Just love it. Another kind of coveted book from Mystic Book Box, that's Sick Fuck by Tilly Cole. Love this edition. It's so cute. Then continuing on with Mystic Book Box, I have Kelly Hart's Blood and Roses series. This is volume one and then this is volume two. Love them. They're just like so beautiful. And this is a dark romance and I can't wait to read this. Then I have for my recent Dark and Quirky box. This is Karina Holly and it's Black Sunshine and the blood is love. This is book one and, and book two. Oh, sorry. And this is a dark remnant, this is a paranormal remnant, and this has vampires in it. But we all know that Karina Holly is great, so it's going to be a great series. <laughs> Following that one up is KF Free, and it's Born in Fire. Then we have Olivia Weisenstein, and that's a pack of blood and lies. This one I know is a monster hunter and a vampire. And then this one is Shifter Romance. Next is The Hiding Game by Sally Storm. This is the Fairy Loot Edition. This is so cute. This is a author's romance and also enemies to lovers. I also know that there is a movie out about this, but 
I can't wait to read this. This is my this is the book. This is like one of the books I said that I just bought special edition of, hoping I would like it, but just about a special edition. <laughs> then I have the exclusive editions, exclusive limited editions of Sugar Honey by Danielle James and Nocturnal Sins. These are really cute. Love them. These next few I actually got in a LGBTQ plus romance book box for Pride Month. And it is Counter Bit by Harleen Beck. Then Wicked Lies Boys Tell by Kay Webster. Then Head Above Water by C. Ritchie. This one also came signed. I think all of them were signed. But I also got this one by the author. And she wrote me little notes. So yes, I know that all of these I think are Killian. So this next one is a reverse harem. This is from Dark and Quirky and it's The Magic of Discovery by Britt Andrews. I know this has witches in it and again it's a reverse harem and it's the first in a series. These next three are all from Illuminate and the first one is The Devil Makes Three by Tori Hoveliano. I butchered that. I am sorry. But I know that it's paranormal because our hero and heroine make a deal with a devil on accident. Uh, it's Dark Academia, too. Then we have Winter's Orbit. This one is a Kalian set in space. It's fly fly. And this is what the naked looks like. Which says, Your Grace, Your Highness. It's almost like it's like a mystery because one of my heroes is marrying the successor of the kingdom and um, the old successor was one of the hero's husband and he dies mysteriously and everyone on the planet kind of thinks that the husband did it and now the new husband is wondering so as well but then you know love comes in and then we find out there's like some hidden secrets going on. I do know Ellen Crate is doing the second book in the series. I hope it's a duet, now a trilogy, but <laughs> I think this is a great book. Forgot to show what the naked hardcover looks for the Double Mix 3, and that's it. Then the last one from Illuminate is A Portrait of a Thief by Grace D. Lee. Um, I know that this is also a Killian. I do know that this is about like a bank heist or a art museum heist and uh i just like like how vibrant this is <laughs> compared to um some of our other but this is what it looks like from the naked and the fairy loot edition of master of arms by jada jones and danny bennett this is super cute but this is also a Killian, and this has fae in it next we have the dark and quirky edition of Why Are You Here by Brianna Jean. This is a rock star romance. I know this is a trilogy and I have the first book in the regular edition. I just got this for a great price so I just had to get it. <laughs> this next book I just bought for aesthetics. This is the Occumini. I hope I said that right but I literally just bought this book for aesthetics. I have no idea what this book is about. I <laughs> like it takes um, six to eight weeks to make this book because everything is made to order and it comes with, like so much stuff. The like opening the book was great. Super like I was feeling myself <laughs> opening the book, the package. It was just amazing. But yeah, I have no idea what this book is about. I think it's a mystery, um, but I just bought this for aesthetics. Perfectly aesthetics. Then, obviously, my my Waterstones edition of Wolf Song by TJ Clude. I can't believe it's enough. Like, the little spread edges. I am here for it. I'm also waiting for the second book to come 
on Waterstones in special edition form, so I can get it. Yes! Oh, this is an Achillean. I forgot that. And it's a um, shifter romance. Love it. You're going to love it. It's a reverse age gap because the alpha is, I think, five or six years younger than his mate. And I love Fox. Then I have the Beyond the Pages book box edition of Wish Upon a Star by Jasadine Jasada Wilder. This is a celebrity. No. Yeah, it was kind of a rock star because he's a boy boyfriend or musician. Um, this also has uh, fake dating. Or maybe it's not fake dating because, like, she asked him out and he says yes. And same together. I do know that this has terminal in it in here, but it does end with the HPA. And Beyond the Pages is an Australian brand book box company. Um, homegrown. Love her. She is amazing. Check their books out. I do, but I do know that, like, shipping from Australia to America is pricey. So be aware of that. But yes, this is so cute. This is so cute. <laughs> then I have the Fake Crate edition of the Nick and Nan Smile by CJ Merewild. I love this. I, ha I just bought the second book in this series, special edition as well. But yes. And the slipcase, this is what it looks like. Spray edges and then book plates. And then look at that. Ooh. Check the trigger warnings because ah, this is a lot for some people. It's also a Q-Man. Next is another special editions from another favorite author of mine, which is Sam Mariano. And that is the No People's Discreet Version of Descent. And the extra special edition of Even If It Hurts. And the reason why this one is extra special is because it has raised letter, lettering. And it also has like glossiness on the raisedness. But I had got all of them signed. So yeah. Then I have a special edition. This is coveted a lot of truly. This is the boy cover by Camille Rhodes. Love this book. It's interracial dark romance. This does have a couple of trigger warnings and it does have dubious consent in it. But I love this edition. Ugh. Yes. The next special edition I have is by BB Reed and it's the boy version of The Prince and the Pawn. Um, I know this one is I don't want to say coveted, but it kind of is coveted. There's not a lot out there, but I'm not giving this up for a while. But yeah, it has Vaughn on it. Then I have the cover to cover book box of Love and the Bluebird. I know this is, this is, I read this book and I actually think I gave it like either a 4.5 or 4.75, but I said it was too short. <laughs> but this is a, country music star romance and it's so good so good next is the bookworm edition of sapphire sunset by chris travis rice i love this is a i love this book so so good um <laughs> yeah what's going on in there it's almost like a bodyguard because this feature is a retired mills marine he's military um marine and the sons or grandsons uh, of the resort and something happens on the first day that they meet and the grandson just ha just decides that he's over it and goes away to New York. A couple years something scandalous happens and he has to come back to the resort and fix it and they meet again and then there is just so much like it's almost like a slow burn but not really but i love this i know that like the series is coming out well it's already out but i really want special editions of the rest of the series because it's beautiful <laughs> next is the bella book box edition of 
a gorgeous villain. Um, I bought the second hand, so I don't have the dust jacket, but I did buy the dust jacket like a couple of days ago, so I know that it's spelled wrong. <laughs> but look at this. Oh my gosh, I can't, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, there it is. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. It's so gorgeous. But yes. And then I know that they have the other editions of the series by Saffron um, Kent coming out. And I, I bought that, the rest of the editions. So yeah. <laughs> Next is a cover to cover by again. I bought this second hand as well, but I bought this straight out. Like, I just wanted this book, and she didn't want the book, so she just gave it to me. Well, I bought it from her. And that is Sav R. Miller, and it's Vipers and Vestros. This is book two. I love this book. This is a rock star romance, dark romance, trigger warning in here. There is a lot going on. It's a stalker romance. I just love this book. Some really nice artwork. Another Bella Book Box special edition is Inseparable by Saffron Davis. This is, I think, a rock star romance. Um, it's a second chance romance. I know that they're childhood friends. Something happens and um, they come back together somehow. I'm definitely reading this on vacation though. So next is a very, very special edition. You could only have gotten this if you were a part of the Kickstarter by J Bell. And that's for the something like volume three graphic novel. And it's something like Sins. <laughs> this is like the only, there's only like uh, maybe 200 prints of this and it's explicit, like very explicit. <laughs> but yes, this is like, again, super special edition. Then I have a alternative cover edition of The Wall in Winnipeg and Me by Maria Zapata. <sighs> Just look at that. It's so, so cute. I got this from my Facebook group. Um, I don't know how they did it, but I know that wrote, I love wrote. These next four are from Mystic, and this is the Pam Godwin box. So I have Dark Notes and Sea of Ruin, and uh, this is a teacher student romance, and this is a historical romance that has some very interesting themes in it. <laughs> um, so trigger warnings for both. And you might have already known, I have Hideaway and Kill Switch by Penelope Douglas. <sighs> I also know these are kind of coveted. Um, Corrupt is the most coveted one, and I can't wait to get that this year or at the beginning of next year. But yes, I'm getting it, and I can't wait to read it. I told myself that I wasn't actually going to read a series until I get the mystic version of Corrupt, and so it's almost time, and I'm here for it. These just got here today, and I'm super excited about these. <sighs> It's by Tate James, and it's from the Fabled, Fabled Co. box. Wow, I messed that one up. And it's the special edition of the Gilded series. Look at that. Ooh, it's so beautiful. So, um, we start off with Honey Trap, and it's so gorgeous. So gorgeous. And then Dead Drop. It's just, it's just, the and then tail water, yes, it's just so, so gorgeous. I literally, I wanted this, and so I asked if someone was selling 
for a reasonable reasonable price and i i got it for a reasonable reasonable price and yeah i am taking these on vacation with me so i can read them and i'm gonna love every moment of it <laughs> different different setting well not different setting lighting is my other light i forgot to plug it in but i forgot two books because they're underneath <laughs> my desk right now. Um, so let me get these two books before we get back to our regularly scheduled programming of the end. Our first book is River of Rain by C.E. Ritchie. Um, I actually forgot how I got this edition. I just know that it's signed. It is the complete duet. Um, it's Killian. I don't know technically if it is a special edition, but to me it is. So this last book, I know this is coveted amongst the dark romance. And even just like book collectors or like romance in general, I know this book is is coveted. Um and I just happened to have gotten it at the time um when it went live. The book box and that is hd carlton's cat and mouse the complete duet um this is my copy my copy is yeah 87 out of 100 so yeah there's only 100 of these books out in the world and i have one of them and i truly love this because is it is good i like i don't know if like you can see it in like some of my other videos when i'm like on the bed but there is this picture as an art print and it came with like art print and then a sticker you know art print and obviously bookmarks that have like quotes from the book and then of that so and it is signed um so i know that some copies have the i think it's like z on it um other copies don't i don't know why <laughs> i maybe she was just like trying to do other things i do know that okay so there is a hundred perfect copies there are other copies maybe I think like 50 other copies that are damaged um and some of them you should not open because it can ruin the book but yeah so this is the last the last book that is a special edition that I own <laughs> so yes I let's just get back to um the next one <laughs> so that is it for these special editions well all of my special edition books that i have currently it's it's a lot but not as much as like of a lot of people i've seen and i've actually have traded some special editions for um a, like a book but and i've actually traded some special editions for a bulk order of like regular edition books that someone had and i just was okay with special edition going to that home and then me getting all a bunch of books for them so yeah but i hope you enjoyed this like what is your favorite special edition and also what book or series would you want in special edition that actually hasn't came out out yet or in the makings because the brutal brutal birthright by sophie lark is in the making it's been said to come out like either the end of this year or the beginning of next year and i'm definitely buying that that's from bookish um i think i really really want um special editions of something like series by j bell i for spoke the series special editions I want like sprayed edges uh, 
art prints of the entire series of Legacy of Gods by Rena Kent. Even though I know most of the books haven't came out yet, we're still on the second book and the third one comes out in November, but I am here for it. I don't care about whether or not uh, I'm going to like the series. I've liked every single one so far and I'm just going to buy it. That's just me. Like, I love that series, so I want special editions, braid edges, art prints, uh, I don't know, foiling. I want all that for that series because that series deserves its props. <laughs> but yes, um, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this. My name is Lady Explore and Explore. And I post a video Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and sometimes Sundays. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye! <laughs>